Okay, you guys, real quickly, I um, uh, want to talk about how, how you guys can use masks and how you should be using masks when we're out at Santa Cruz and anywhere. Um, the first thing is that there's all different kinds of masks that you could use, and we'll have various masks for you guys out there at the island. Um, in general, pick a smaller one. If, 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 if you have a big, huge, giant uh, faceplate or a smaller faceplate, if you have that option, maybe you don't, but if you do, pick a smaller one. It's going to be easier to clear if it floods. Um, let's talk about how this works. So what you're going to want to do to make sure, so when I say big or small, I'm talking about the glass here. You always want to make sure that this, this part fits yourself well, fits your face well. The way you're going to check that, I don't have any hair. You guys have hair. So the first thing is to slick back your hair so you have no hair in this part, touching this part of your face. You're going to fold the mask like this, hold it up like this. And if I just let go, it's going to fall off. But what I want you to do is hold it up and then, and then inhale just through your nose and then stop breathe and then hold your breath like this. All right, there you go. So, so it stays on. If it's too big or, or you know, or really, really too tight or really too big and you try that, it's gonna, it's not gonna have a good seal, it's gonna fall. You're not gonna wanna use that mask. So as long as that is okay, you're good. Next thing is, I wanna talk about uh, the snorkel. So here we go, here's our snorkel. Our snorkel should always be on our left, on, our, on, on here I'm putting it on, on my left side, right? So snorkel's on my left side. I'm gonna put it on. There's different styles of snorkels. Again, anything will work fine, but if you have a choice, I would pick one. This is called the shotgun style of snorkel. This is very simple. Um, sometimes you'll see things with balls and different valves and things. Again, if that's all you have, it'll work, but in general, it's easier to have this kind of stuff. I'm gonna put this on, and when this is on, I'm gonna go like this. I don't have to bite down super, super hard. There's little mouth parts. I can just put my lips around it. That's what's mostly gonna hold it into my mouth. And when I'm out there swimming, it's just breathing. And this should be such that when my head is down, looking 40, I'm floating in the water now, imagine my head's in the water, 45 degrees, my head's a little bit pointed this way. This should be basically straight up and down. So sometimes when you're, when you, our masks are in a pile, sometimes the holder, the snorkel keeper, will get pulled back or shoved way too far forward. You want it just about where your, where your ear is, where my, my side of my face ear, that's, that's the best place. And then that'll be pretty much straight up and down. If you happen to get any water in it, no worries. Just a breath and blow out and it'll clear this out, right? Okay, if, you, if you're snorkeling and you're starting to get a lot of water in all the time, it's probably because you're, you're too far forward and the snorkel is instead of pointing straight up, it's probably pointed that way. Okay, um, next thing I wanna talk about is, is what we wanna do when we get in the water. Now, we first enter the water, the beach, it's sandy and there's stuff flopping around and everything, so you know, don't worry about it. But once you get in the water, First thing you want to do is, is uh, put your fins on. Got your fins on. Okay, next let's put our mask on. What we're going to do there is we're going to take this, take the mask, dip it in the water, shove some water around it, clear any sand or whatever out of there, get it out. And then we want to spit in it. And so the idea is mm -hmm, get good spit going. Um, uh, spit in this and then rub with my finger all of the clear surfaces of the mask. Okay? And then once that's good to go, a little teeny tiny dip of water. Don't don't submerge the whole mask. Just a little tiny deep dip of water. Rinse that spit out, boom, and then put it on. And that's gonna keep our mask from fogging. If in the middle of our snorkel it starts to fog up again, no worries. You can just spit again, rub, boom. If you don't want to spit, if we have some fresh kelp or other algae out there that's all smooth, not that's rocky or, or has crustaceans growing up, but it's very smooth, just take that kelp and rub it in here. We just need some film is what we're looking for on, on, this, uh, on this mask. Um, another one is if we're out there and we're swimming around and your mask starts to get water in, no problem. The easiest thing to do is take your hand like this, your palm, and shove it on the top part of the mask, put your head back, and breathe out through your nose. That's going to make the water dribble down. Worst comes to worst, you can always just kind of do that. Um, Okay, the last thing I want to mention in terms of mask safety is how to make sure your ears don't hurt. Okay, how to now we have spaces inside our head and there's there's air around us. Right now there where I am, it's equal pressure. My ears don't hurt. You guys have felt this as you go up a, a mountain or come down a mountain if you have a cold, sometimes your ears kind of hurt. Uh, uh. So um, for every 33 feet we go down in the ocean, that's one whole atmosphere worth of pre additional pressure on our ears. 
So if we go to if we go all the way out to space, all the way down here, that's one atmosphere worth of pressure. Going just 33 feet or 10 meters into the ocean, that's gonna double that pressure. And so you've all experienced this when we go in a swimming pool and our ears kind of hurt. Mostly you guys are gonna pinch your nose and blow out, which if I'm wearing this mask, you're gonna go like this and blow out, right? And that will work and you can do that. But a better way, a safer way, a better thing for your ears and a better thing long term to get you in the habit is what we're doing when we're doing that is we're, we're forcing fresh air from our lungs into our sinuses, into the space in our head. And so um, the default way is, is, is called Valsalva. It's kind of, right? And you can do that. Better is to do this. Start to yawn. I'm really tired. Start to yawn. Right? So watch my jaw. Start to yawn. Just start, and, and you guys can do this. As you start to yawn, you start to hear a crack. So yawn, and I'm a little bit, little bit rocking my this jaw forward, like that. If I overemphasize, it's like this. If that doesn't immediately crack, a little bit of gently blowing out with my lungs, I do that. So rock my jaw, yawn, and blow out, and that's going to do the same exact thing as this, and it's way easier on our ears. And it and 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 um, and that's either way works, but that's the preferred way. If you guys can do that, you're golden. You can do that on an airplane when you're getting on an airplane. You can do that when you're going up and down the Conejo grade. If you have a cold, much safer for your ears and all that kind of good stuff. Um, last thing to say is whatever we do, whenever we've we've finished with our mask and we've or come back in from snorkeling, take your mask and make sure it stays in a safe place. This is glass, right? Don't throw it on the rocks. Don't leave it in a pile. Um, if you have fin, jam it in the pocket of the fin. If you don't have a fin, make sure it goes into our bag, our box, our pile of just masks and doesn't get smacked in a pile of sand, doesn't get buried in a pile of rocks, but is taken care of nicely, okay? So all of our equipment should be taken care of nicely, but in particular our masks, because these guys can scratch and break. All right, let's have an awesome snorkel. See you guys this weekend out at Santa Cruz.